Hello Wasteland! And welcome to this episode of Crash Course. Now, we've all been there before, we've all had that project we're working on, and you're trying to figure out, okay, so I've taken the body off the car, and I've got some ideas about what I'm going to do on the inside, like maybe put a mesh behind the windows, but what do I do about the wheels? Now, maybe I've got a second car body that I'm going to use as part of this build. Maybe I'm going to do some kind of Immortal Joe Giga Horse build, you know, one car on top of the other. But the problem still remains. If Hot Wheels and Matchbox wheels are too small, what do you use? What else is out there? In my builds, I've used wheels from all sorts of scale cars. I've done all sorts to try to recreate that feel. So this video is going to be a guide as to what is out there and the different scales that actually, yes, you can use. So starting off here, we have this lovely Big Mac truck. This is a lovely model that I found in a charity shop. It's by Z Toy, which is a brand made in China, like most of these cars. But then the thing is, it's not the scale that people would normally associate. I mean, if you compare it with this Hot Wheels Bone Shaker, it's a different size. So taking it apart with a screwdriver, we just pop that out. And yep, we're going to need to get the flat head to try and pry this loose. If you've seen my drilling crash course video, you know that you have to be careful when doing this, but sometimes force is needed to pop these suckers open. So getting these wheels out, immediately we can see these are massive. These are enormous wheels. They use a metal pin to actually fit into a metal cap on either side. It's not your usual plastic. But what else is out there? So here we've got this. Uh, this is a Corgi white conventional motorsport truck. Uh, interestingly enough, these wheels, unlike the uh, Mack truck, these are solid plastic. Plastic hubcaps and plastic wheels themselves. So this is one we're going to have to drill apart. So getting the trusty drill out now, we're just going for the three pins top and bottom. Again, this is a larger scale car, so this isn't what you'd normally look at when you think of sort of Hot Wheels Mad Max scale. But again, taking the old uh, flathead screwdriver to it to pop it apart. There we go. And interestingly enough, if you look at the inside, you can actually see that those aren't the only rivets. There's actually two more rivets that are holding the cab body. So if you think about it, that's five rivets you'd need to drill out if you wanted to work on the inside. Maybe not worth it, but the wheels are good. Okay, so let's have a look at a wheel scale, if you will. So if you've ever seen any sort of bar charts or anything like that, this is it's going to be the equivalent of that. Lower left, we're going to have the smallest, in this case, your standard Hot Wheels toy car. Leading over to the right, we're going to have the largest. Now, these wheels, these represent a kind of a broad spectrum. So here we've got your more detailed wheels that you tend to get from things like some of the third parties out there. If you look at these, ma these older Matchbox wheels, these are something I've looked at before where you do get double tyre designs, which can be good. They can be great for really beefing up a build. And I think it's important to have a scale like this so you can kind of compare the different sizes and see what works. Whenever you look at, you know, inspiration source material for post-apocalyptic wasteland car and truck builds, they will use a whole variety of sizes and scales, like these wheels from Home Bargains truck. Key point here, rubber tyres. So you can take those off and you can use those. So again, looking at these plastic tires, plastic hubcaps, it's keeping in mind the different materials with the different scales. So as I pointed out when we looked at the Mack truck, these are actual solid rubber tires on a metal, metal axle, on a metal hubcap that's just you know, just ludicrously heavy for compared to something like a Hot Wheels toy 
toy car wheel. But the reason why we have something like this is so you can find the scale wheel that suits the build that you're working on. So here, you know, we can look at these home bargain truck wheels and go, yeah, well, maybe the single ones could work at the front, but then we'd need something a bit bigger, a bit wider at the rear, and you get to size things up. But let's not forget for a moment that it's not just single tyre wheels that you will see in the wasteland. You'll get the double tyre varieties as well. So here, here we have the double tyres from the Home Bargains truck. Here we've got the double tyres from the Corgi Mobile race truck. And here we've got the double tyres from the Big Mac truck, which are surprisingly thinner than I expected. They're actually thinner comparatively to the, the front main tyres. But you can see, just putting this Hot Wheels wheel and axle combo down, it's tiny by comparison. But one of the things we're looking at is getting that triangular pattern where you've got your larger, wider axle wheels at the back, your shorter, single axle wheels at the front. Now, let's just have a look at some other options. So here are some 172nd scale cars from Cararama. And uh, yeah, I quite like that. Junior Rescue and Cararama Cararama cars. Fantastic. So let's just open these up. Now, I saw these yesterday at a car sh classic car show at the NEC in Birmingham. And one of the things that drew me to these, because you get, you get hundreds of toy cars at these classic car shows, it's, it's insane. One of the things that drew me to these was that the plastic alloys, the plastic hubcaps on these car wheels, are so much more detailed than your average Hot Wheels. Now these are made by Hongwell, which is a Hong Kong manufacturer, um, in 172nd scale. So they are a little smaller than your average Hot Wheel wheels, if, if you can imagine something even smaller than that. But what it does mean is when it comes to using these as decorations on our builds, they're perfect. They're the perfect size and you get tons. I mean, if you think four wheels on a car, that's four plastic hubcaps, that's four tires that you can cut, that you can modify, that you can turn into the different textures and the different decorations and trophies on a car. Looking at this Land Rover, it's a lovely little car, but it is a little small for our likes. The Porsche here, fantastic detail, just taking this out of the packaging. You know, again, hubcaps, fantastic. But the actual size of it, it makes a wonderful little buggy. And I think that's what I'm going to turn it into. Little, little attack buggy. So looking at this one, um, the front radiator isn't actually modelled on. It's just a flat decal that's been at applied. And looking at this one, although the interior design is quite nice, the hubcaps are completely flat. Again, that's just a, a decal put on. So there are, if you go looking for it, you will find some wonderful options out there. Now, let's enter bonus time. So what do we have here? Well, this is a lovely little remote control toy car. That's the perfect scale for Hot Wheels, right? I saw this at the NEC car show. It is a remote control Hot Wheels toy car. I mean, it's not branded Hot Wheels. It's some dodgy fake brand. I don't even think it, it has any brand markings on it. But the lights light up, the front and rear lights, the headlights, the brake lights, they all they all go off when you drive it forwards and backwards. It's an actual factual remote control toy car in this scale. I mean look at that, look at that, that's the perfect that is the perfect scale for turning into a Mad Max toy car. I mean come on. Come on. I mean really. How could I resist that? And I remember when I was a kid, I used to buy like toys like this, and they were garbage. They didn't work. The technology just clearly wasn't there yet. But now we're we're living in current year, and just the stuff you will find, I, I think it's fantastic. So it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And in the next video, if you stick around, if you watch, you will see me take this sucker apart and turn it into a lovely little remote control car of the wastelands all right guys thanks again for listening in and i will see you in the next video thank you and goodbye